Snestruck. Welcome back to Snestruck Plays Robotrek, and we're still examining Flavon's house for random stuff. He really has nothing else to say. What does this dog have to say? Oh. Well, now this dog has to follow me around. Is there a secret entrance back here? No. That's the thing. Now that I have the relay, I can, like, talk to other dogs, and I can play Ding Dong Ditch with this guy again. <laughs> yeah, in case you missed that in an earlier episode, you can still do that. Invitations? Vacations, huh? Hmm. Yeah, 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 whatever. Oh, yeah, Mint probably has a new uh, thing up here. And this isn't it. It's usually the second one. I know what it looks like. I've got two of them. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know about the stupid kids. Okay. What else can we do in town? We can talk to this old guy. Sure. <laughs> well, gee, thanks. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Any mail? That guy was talking about mail. I don't have any mail. What's with that? Oh, well, you're... What are you doing going through my mail? Come on. Ugh, I hate that. They have stuff to say as soon as you enter the room, and then when you frickin' talk to them, they, uh... They don't have anything else to say. So, I don't think... The other levels are in this house. I don't know where the other levels are, period, actually. Honest to God. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go check uh, my dad's house, actually, for a couple of reasons. Number one, to waste time. No, just kidding. Now he didn't get an invitation to the South Isle. What the hell? And I want to talk to his cat. No, cat doesn't really say anything. And I totally did not mean to do that, damn it. Duh. Alright. So, what levels are here again? Okay, obviously I've got level 1. Level 15. Okay, I'm not there yet. Hmm. Where the hell would 13 and 14 be? Or 12 and 13 be, rather. I think 12 is back in the in the house. Let's check the shop, just to be sure. I know there's there's books in the shop, I just don't remember what they are. Okay, 22, that's way off. 21, that's way off. And I'm at uh, 13. That's not good. And I've got plenty of cures and cleans and repairs, so I don't need to buy anything. So let's check out this uh, new area over here. Let's check out the harbor. Thirty years of experience can't beat that. This guy's got some interesting hair. Uh, no, no. Wait, well, yeah, I want to check out this house here. Or actually, I want to check out around. Uh, see if there's anything over here. No, there's some. Very, uh, Enix, <laughs> very Enix quintet looking trees. That's all. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> what was that? What is the point of your character, sir? Can I take a nap in your bed? Jesus, what the hell? What is the point? Reminds me there's an old Dana Carvey stand-up bit from the mid-90s. Where he goes, uh... He makes fun of lead singers that try and sound profound before they sing a song. And he's like, he says something like, uh, You know, a long time ago, there were lots of people. But that was a long time ago. You know, just, that's, that's just what that reminds me of. That's all. Hey, new music. We could use some new music in this game. And it's that other guy's twin brother, evidently. Okay. So, we are on the South Island, and I am 
very conspicuously overwelcomed to be here, which means something must be up. Why do they want me here? What are they going to do with me? Show me the volcano. I'm not sure I like that. Sure. Sounds like a real badass. Okay. Whoa, what the hell? What is that? It must be an earthquake? Actually, that would have been an interesting plot twist there. If you would have thrown me in the pot. Kind of like kind of like the beginning of Secret of Mana. Where you get abducted by those goblin things. And you get thrown in a pot and the girl has to rescue you. So apparently a deity is uh, controlling this uh, volcano. Or he lives in the volcano. I don't know. Is there anything back here? No. The guy's blocking the entrance to that thing. What? I can't get through here? Are you kidding? Uh, what do you have to say? <laughs> oh, these guys all dance. Okay, that's wonderful. Yeah, have fun, guys. Oh, wait, that's Mint up there. What's she doing up there? Let's read the, it's the Elder's House. What are you doing here? No, actually, I didn't. What's... <laughs> yeah, sure. See, she's a character where the translation, a, a more accurate translation, really would have helped. Okay, let's since we've explored outside, let's check out the houses. Okay, I guess that's where I sleep. Hey, it's the mayor. It's the mayor of the town. Huh. So he's looking for Rose. Rose isn't around. That's awfully peculiar. Hmm. Let's go to the next house over here, and it is ye old shop. And it's got the exact same shit that every place else has. In other words, just nothing particular. It's kind of a downer about this game. I know I mentioned this the last episode, but the items are really kind of really, really basic. I mean, the game makes up for it in other ways, like with the combination system and all that, all that kind of stuff. Sorry, I got the hiccups. Huh. An argument before the guy and the deed and the shaman. Okay. Anything over here? Over here? What does that even mean? Catching up to what? Is it a competition? Uh, you say the same thing. You're worthless. Get out of my way. Okay. Ugh. Come on. <laughs> Approach these people from the other side to see if they see s say anything different. It's kind of like dogs when, you know, when a dog is asking for food, sometimes like you'll give him a piece when he's sitting on your right side and he'll go over to your left side and he'll be like, "You haven't given me anything over from this side. How about some more food, huh? Huh?" Dogs are smart like that. It usually works. I uh, don't really know what to do next, to be honest with you. Um, I guess I... Oh, this guy's out of the way now. Cool. Hmm. This is all boarded up over here. What's with that? Okay. We got a cow skull on the wall here. Hey, this guy's doing some kind of goofy ritual. Uh, sure. If you say so. Uh, it's another invisible wall. Very frustrating. So, there's nothing to do in here. There's no extra items or anything like that. This guy says nothing new. So, what in the hell do I do next? 
This game is very good at at saying that, I'll be honest with you. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Is there anything else back here? No, there's just more annoying earthquakes and stuff. Nothing back here at all. I don't know, there's some poor village design here. Why should I have to walk all the way around? If I talk to Mint again... Okay. What if I talk to this guy again? Does he say anything different? No, he doesn't. Okay, we're going to call this an episode until I figure out what to do. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.